Hello, everyone. Glenda Mollett here, and welcome to my craft room tonight. I'm going to be stamping with the Driving By stamp set, and I'm going to show you a couple of tricks with the stamp set that's going to extend the life of your stamp set even more. So I'm just getting the my it's computer stamp set even more. There we go. All right. We're good to go here. Let's make sure everything is situated properly. I don't like it crooked cuz yeah. Okay, just a, just a tad more. There we go. All right, let's wait and see if anybody is going to join me. I'm using I am using the driving by stamp set that is available right now during celebration for free. But I'm going to show you a trick for the stamp set so that you can use it for other things other than other ways other than the way the stamp is done. So I hope I hope you had a good weekend. <coughs> Pardon me. I had an awesome weekend. I've been walking every day. Mm. Sorry, tickling my throat. I had to take a sip of water. So I've been walking every day. I'm doing about three and a half kilometers a day for my conqueror challenge. And hi, Valerie. I am. Um, I'm hoping to get a. Or I will get a medal at the end, and it's a really cool medal. So these, hello, Carmen, these challenges are actually quite fun. You you do it on your own. These, hello, Carmen, uh -oh. these challenges are actually quite Why did quite that fun. turn on? You, Be you quiet. Do it on your own. Shh. Hello, Carmen, uh oh. Challenges are Holy moly. Hi, Janet. I guess I touched something on my computer. Yeah, so it's called the Conqueror Challenge. And you can go anywhere from, I think the, the least amount of kilometers is about 31 and a half. And then you can go up to hundreds of kilometers. And you can choose to do different sites around the world. Hi, Karen. So right now I'm walking the English Channel, which is apparently 33 kilometers long, which I did not know. And when you hit certain spots, they send you these postcards to let you know little bits of trivia about the history of the place that you just hit. Wow, Val, that's good for you. That's indoor bike, right? Yeah, I'm walking outside. So doesn't matter what it's doing outside. So I just passed a place on the English Channel and they were talking about the building the channel and I didn't know but France started on one end and England started on the other end and they bored towards the middle and when they got close enough they took the English boring machine and they bored down in the ground and they left it there and they buried it so that when the French one came it went over top of the buried English one and came out on the English side and they just left that one buried in there from England. How cool is that? I never would have known that if I didn't do this challenge. So it's not only physically helping my my health, it's mentally helping my health too. Yeah, I got to get in, in shape for Tofino because we usually do about 16 to 18,000 steps a day when we're in Tofino. And right now I'm, I think I'm doing just about five. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of walking when I hit Tofino. It is interesting. It's really interesting. Okay. So on, on with the program. So this is driving by and it's a really quick and easy way to create a card and use the same layout for many different stamp sets, colors, designer papers. When you want to use up your designer paper, 
You can make a matching envelope for it. You can also use some on the inside. Now, I didn't on this one, but you could make um, make coordinating envelopes and insides to use up more of your designer paper. <clears throat> and on the, the balloons I have used, hang on, let me get it here. <laughs> Stuck. I used the shimmer crystal effects on top of the balloons to give them a little bit of extra bling. So I'm going to make I'm going to make this card, but I'm going to show you a couple of I'm going to show you a trick. Because you know how I'm always cutting up my stamps? Well, I cut these ones too. So there's what they look like. So one has balloons on it and one has presents on it. But it would be nice to be able to use that presence with the bus too and to use the balloons with the bus so all you have to do is just take your scissors and cut right between those like that and look at this there's the presence and I did the same thing with the balloons I just cut the balloons off so now we have a beetle without presence and a oh what's this called my brother-in-law has one it's a Volkswagen. I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, you can use those without and without the things as well. So then you can stamp the presents on top of the the van. You could have the presents coming off the back of the van. Oops, the wrong way around. Like that, so that they're being towed in. What a great idea, eh? So I just realized I don't have the stamps set up for the inside. Hang on, I gotta get a block. There we go. So we'll put the balloons on one and I'm gonna put the presents on another one and then get out the van. I used to have one of, one of these vans. Well, we used to have one. It was orange. And it had a pop top camper on it. And our kids, they were like two at the time. They hated it. Absolutely hated it. Would not go up in that pop top to save their lives. So we had to use reverse psychology and <laughs> told them. Ted and I crawled up there and we said, okay, you're not allowed to come up here. This is just for mommy and daddy. <laughs> Guess what? They were up there in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So I've used, I've chosen Bermuda Bay again, but I'm going to use um, the yellow. This is the Simply Marvelous paper. So I thought we'd just change it up a bit. There's the piece for all the stamping. And then I've got the sentiment and we'll layer the sentiment on there. And I have an extra piece just in case I mess the sentiment up. And that's for the inside. Oh, <laughs> oh be cute, Val. Okay, so I'm going to get my memento ink out. And we'll do this one first, and then we'll go on and we'll do a pink version of this. So I'm just going to stamp the... Move it up a bit so I can get the sentiment in there the car on there like that oh and then we just go back over it and stamp it many 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 more times so this one's not going to have balloons on there and we'll just add some more cars on there. So we're basically kind of making making our own designer paper out of cars. There we go. And get the inside one. We'll put we'll put the beetle in there. 
And I'm going to stamp it on this side. And then I want to see if I can get the balloons somewhere on there. Mm, right there. Let's try that. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that cute. Okay, and the envelope. Where is it? There it is. Let's stamp the bus and part on the envelope and part off the envelope. And then we'll take the presents and we'll stamp the presents on top of the bus. Oh, well, there you go. Apparently I got ink around the edges, so just pretend that's not there. Pretend that's not there. Uh-oh. Shh, don't tell anybody. Oops, on there. There. I fixed it. <laughs> Every time I see the, a car with a stack of presents like this, I think of the the um, Ikea commercial. Okay. So, I want to do this car red. Because this is going to be my brother-in-law's birthday card. And his birthday's not until September. But he has one of these cars. I wish I could remember the name of it. It's a Volkswagen um, red top. I think it starts with an E. If anybody knows the name, let me know. Yeah, he's had a midlife crisis and bought himself a midlife crisis car. Yes, Rosemary, you're right. It also remind that van reminds me of Tofino. So I did a couple of um, cards with that van and made them all psychedelic. So I'll be showing those during the week for you, so you can see you can see psychedelic vans. Okay, now get the the yellow. Except that's not, that's the light. I wanted the dark. Dark daffodil delight. The headlight. There we go. And then I have, I have the dark smoky slate. Um, no, he doesn't have an MG midget, but yes, you're right. It does remind me of Vic's car too. Okay. And let's give him some fancy wheels here. Doing the front bumper and the back bumper. And we have now him light. Oh, that's gray granite. What's this? What was the one I just used? Oh, that's smoky slate. No, nope, don't want gray granite. Want smoky? No, it's it's a little. It's a car. It's a little red Volkswagen. Um. Rag top. EOS. Is it an EOS? I can't remember. Ted would know, but of course he's not in here. So I'm using the black on the wheels. Like that. I'm just making sure I don't go outside the lines with this. Anyways, we went, he got this car just before Robin graduated high school and we went down there for her for the graduation and then we went touring Victoria in this this red hot um convertible <laughs> it was fun 
Okay, let's give it a sparkly windshield. And sparkly hubcaps. Why not? There we go. Okay. Now the inside. The inside. Hmm. Let's do a yellow. Let's do yellow Volkswagen. So if somebody has a has a uh, device that they're not watching me. If you could Google Volkswagen convertible and tell me what the name of that is because it's going to be bothering me for a while. Might be an EOS. Anyways, if you're in, if you are in Tofino, they have those Volkswagen vans. They even have one at the Tourist Information Bureau. I think my yellow is dying. They, and there's a little surf shop in the same little complex as um, chocolate tofino is now what shall I what color should I put down there EOS is right yeah there you go EOS I wasn't far off so tell me what color I should do that this part of the car what color should that be should it be the same yellow or should I um, Change it up and make it something else. Yeah, he's he loves his little red car. Of course, where they live now, it's not a winter car, so it's parked in their in their storage garage till spring. Because when you when you live in a place that's minus thirty and has lots of snow, you don't want to be driving around in a in a uh, convertible. Rusty brown from the salt at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carmen wants yellow. Okay, let's give it a couple of red, a bit of red balloon. And we'll give it a Bermuda Bay balloon. Now I can't put that um, shimmery crystal effects on this because I won't be able to um, put it in the card. And I'll do a Granny Apple Green. Balloon. Mango. Oh, Leanne. Mango. We don't have a mango blends anymore. Kind of looks like a flattened rabbit. What looks like a flattened rabbit? <laughs> um, I don't know what to, what color to do that. So while you're deciding what color I should do that, Mango would be nice. The EOS. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll tell my brother-in-law that. Uh, hey, Craig. One of my ladies told me that your car looks like a flattened rabbit. Oh, okay. Yeah, the older, older. So should I put... Where's my piece? Should I put that side out? Or should I put the wild side out? So the calm side or the wild side? Which one do you think we should have? I like that. Hotel Z has a van made to exact size out of driftwood, even has a motor tire. Yes, I've seen that, Rosemary. It is awesome. I'm going to have to see if I can get a picture of it this year while we're out there.
Okay, everybody's voting on a wild. Maybe I'll just leave the the Volkswagen the color it is with the white on the bottom. I do have to do the back though. Oh, I forgot to do this part of the car. Maybe we'll just leave that white in the headlight. Everybody likes wild. Okay. There we go. All right, put this inside. Maybe get it started. It's so close to running out that it wants to retire early. Everybody wants the wild side. Okay, we're going on the wild side. There's the inside. And we'll get the get it on the the wild side here. So I started my list today. My going to Tofino with in the trailer list. The very first thing on my list was winter gear. The second thing on the list is rain gear. <laughs> Yep, the two main ingredients of a camping trip in Tofino in March. Warm gear and rain gear. And the gear that goes in between. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so this one, I just centered it, but this one I think I'm going to move it over to the side. Just for a little bit more interest just because you're using the same layout doesn't mean you have to use the same positioning for the layout all right get the get the sentiment piece driving by just to say hi and then i'll put a happy birthday on the inside when it's time to send it to him i got a few months because his birthday's not till september uh oh that's crooked okay let's try again I go. That's better. Yeah, September his birthday is. Nope, we are not going for the Whale Festival, Leanne, because there's too many people there during Whale Fest. So we come home the day Whale Fest starts. We like to be out there for the beach, not for the people. And we don't usually go to any of the Whale Fest stuff anyways when we have been out there during Whale Fest. Okay. So I popped the white part up. And I'm going to put the blue part flat. Let's just pick a spot for it. Right there. There. Now... I'm looking for my red rhinestones. Ooh, let's use some of the new ones. Hang on. Oh, yes, please. Let's use some of these new blue ones. These are so pretty. Okay. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. No, I think the red ones will look better. Maybe on the next one. Oh, Rosemary, that sucks. Stupid people, go home. Yeah, I don't under I don't understand these people. Like why do you why do you go to a place like Tofino during the winter? What is there there that that is there for the winter? 
Then they spend their whole time driving back and forth to Port Alberni. There's our card. So there's the original one. Let's get rid of that on there. And there's the one we came up with tonight. Same layout, same stamp. Looks a little bit different. Now, if you wanted, you could color in the rest of them as well. Okay, and I have another one. I prepped two tonight. So this one's pink. So tell me, which stamp do you think we should use for this one? Should we use, should we use the van or should we use the bug? Thank you. Peace and quiet in the storms. I could take that. Oh yeah, but if people are out there, Valerie, there is no peace and quiet. They are obnoxious. Thanks, Karen. Okay, so I want to know, here's the pink one. I got the pink paper. This is Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then I put this in here for the sentiment. But I got this one here. The van with, a, with stripes or flowers. Oh, paper piecing? We could do paper piecing. Mmm. Let me get out that. What's that paper called? The free cello, the free hostess stuff? Pattern party paper. Everybody wants the van. We can do the van. Let's see. What? So we could do it that and color it, or we could do it that, or we could do it stripey. What else is in here? There's stripey, the other kind of stripies. Other kind of stripies. What else? What would be good for the van? Flower power. Is there anything with flowers? Ooh. There's this rainbowy one. Could do the rainbowy one. I'm looking to see what else is in here. Okay. This one. Okay, so let's get them all in sight here so you can see them. One, two, three, four, or five. Which one do you want? One, two, three, four, or five. Everybody wants stripes. This stripes. Five. Five, five, five. Well, I guess we're doing five. Because that's what everybody is waiting for. Okay, put these away. <laughs> Apparently everybody wants number five. Okay, I just need to get a bigger piece. A bigger piece. All right. The van. Okay, horizontal, vertical, or crooked? Which way do you want the stripes? Horizontal, vertical, or crooked? So while you're doing that, I will stamp. I will stamp this and make the front of the card. Vertical, horizontal. Okay, only got one for each. We'll put the van in the middle. And we'll put the van off to the side. Got 
out of the way. Oops. Oh, okay, that didn't work out very well. Let's try this again. In the middle. Okay, what we have? Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, and crooked. Okay, then. It looks like it's going to be horizontal because we have two horizontals, a crooked and a vertical. Right, so there's that. So if you want a horizontal, i got to get a bigger piece because this is not going to fit. I don't think. I'll try it. Try it and see if it fits. Oh, perfect. Just fits. Okay, now I have to cut it out. You guys just want me to fussy cut, that's all. So I'm going to cut, at least chose the van. The van is easier to cut out than the little cars. I have to figure out some way to get those stripes out of the windows. Go around the bumper and then around the wheel. And down along the bottom edge. Up around the wheel. This is definitely going to be a hippie van. Yes, there is a van at the tourist information place. Leanne, there is. The white eraser tape. What about the white eraser? Oh, no, no. Don't you wish that set came with dyes? Yeah. And Janet, I won't be using an X-Acto knife because they scare me to death. Okay, so there's the bus. Now... Hmm. I, you know what I could do? Let's see if I got a scrap of white in my garbage here. I was prepping cards, so I knew there was going to be in there. Okay, where's my van? Where's my van? Window stickers? <laughs> We're going to do it this way. So I'm going to cut this out as a strip and see what it looks like. If we don't like it, then I can always cut the windows out and use just the windows. But this might look funky. And then we can color. Oh, then we can color around the windows with one of the colors in the paper. That would be cool. And up 
front. There we go. So that'll go on there like that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so what color should I... I think we'll use the flirty flamingo and color around the edge like this. Should make up a bunch of these cards and take them to Tofino with me to to give out to people in the co-op and people at the gas station. And then there's that the gas and go that has the keto ice cream that it's amazing. I'll be going and getting some of that. Okay, so we're going to put this on here like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay. Let's get some adhesive on there. Maybe. Maybe get some adhesive on there. Come on. over top of the window area. Oh, up a bit. Like that. Now I need my black marker. Because I like going around the out... When I'm fussy cutting something like this, I like going around the outside just so I can hide any spots where I didn't get right on that line. There we go. Now, this is going to go on here. Oh, guys, look at that. That's, that's so adorable. Okay, let's do the wheels. Black, please. Thank you. Okay, now I've got that wheels on the bus song going through my head. But instead, it's the wheels on the van go round and round. <laughs> oh, lordy. I'm, um, I've been doing videos all day. I have seven videos to do before tomorrow afternoon for my March classes. So I've been, been busy getting those ready to go. And the bumper on the front and the back. And then we'll do the tailpipe. Send in the clowns. <laughs> if you go back to Quebec. Yep. Pretty much. Then they arrive in Tofino and they have nowhere to stay. They get themselves a job because it's like here where they have lots of work but no place to stay. There we go. Hey, we'll put our paper pieced beast on there. I just changed my mind. Send in the clowns. Yep. Every time I craft, I get, I get a song in my head. Like one of those earworms. I'm going to put this on with Tombow. Put it on here. Come on. My Tombow's stuck. There it goes. I was afraid to squish too hard. Okay. And I go to my garbage and I give it a really good squish and it empties into my garbage and gets it running. Maybe gets it running. Come on. Oh, don't do this to me. And 
we'll just place that right over top of that van like that. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh, love it. Love it. Rika Stella in the windows. There we go. And the hubcaps. And the front light and the rear light. There we go. All right. It does look awesome. I agree with you, Valerie. You guys, you guys never disappoint me when we... Well, okay. I won't mention that chicken card. That was way outside my comfort zone. Still scares me that, thinking about that card. I didn't ask you wild side or calm side. I'm just doing wild side. And we'll put this on there. It looks amazing. Hey, do you want to layer this on a piece of black? Before I put it on there, should we put a piece of black in behind it? Let's uh, let's see what it would look like. Getting some black cardstock. All right. What size is this? Mm, this is. I don't know what size because I didn't write it down. So four and five eighths by three and three eighths. Okay. You know me, I like layers. Oh, I cut it too long. It's got to cut. Oh, that looks better. I was going to cut a chunk off of that. Hang on. Oh, yes. Much better. Hippie side works super with it. <laughs> Oh my god, that's adorable. Yep. Hello, Tofino. Those Tofitians, they do like their VW vans. Everything is retro out there. I love it. Even the, the bikes, they have bike rentals. And they're the old style bikes, you know, with the great big handles, the touring bikes. Kind of like the one I have in purple that I won that I don't get to ride anymore because James has decided that's his bike. Okay, let's see if I can find a happy birthday or something to put in there. Let's get out special moments and see what we can put in there. It's okay to feel the feels. I wonder if hang in there would fit. Probably not. Mm -mm. No, that's too long. It's okay. I got this one. Yeah, <laughs> at Hotel Z. It is colorful. Definitely colorful. Hang in there. Okay. Let's stamp it in flirty flamingo. <laughs> I can send it to you, Val. Make sure I have enough ink on there. Hang in there. And 
we'll just snippy snippy and snippy snippy there we go now this isn't going to fit on that but we can do it like that and it'll be just fine okay let's pop that up on dimensionals here get my card okay where are we going to put this let's put that right onto that should use the okay to feel the feels like they're on a trip with <laughs> oh yeah Now, Rosemary, what did you put a link to in there? I don't know what that is, Rosemary. Tell me, what is that link to? Is that a, a song or something? Come on. Hang in there. Hang in there, my friend. Hang in there. This too shall pass. Oh. Now, I need something. We need something pink. Hmm. I just happen to have sitting here some polished dots that are pink. You think those will work? I just happen to have them sitting right on my da table. There we go. It is great for so many cards. Van surfing in Tofino. Oh. I wonder what will happen if I hit this. Oh, it'll take me over there. Let's have a look. <laughs> uh, I'll finish that watching that after I've done because it's really rude of me just to go away. Okay. Need to get my dirty paper out. Need to get my dirty paper out. Need to stamp a van. Because I think it needs the van on the inside. Hi, Lena. Need to stamp a van on the inside. You are late. We're almost done. Forgot the, the envelope. Guts, guts to do the envelope. Oh, let's stamp a pink one. Where is it? I need to clean it. I'm going to stamp a pink one. I would love to add a surfboard, but I don't have a surfboard. There's no surfboards in my repertoire. Put a pink, put a pink van in there, and I think I'll turn this over. I'll put a pink van in there too. Going this way? No, going this way. Draw one and cut it out. Uh, no, no. <laughs> That's not happening, Valerie. Definitely not happening. No. Me drawing is not a good thing. All right, let's put this inside. I'll get my other adhesive out here, one that actually decides to work. <laughs> the 
this card is amazing. Use Oval Punch for Surf. Yeah, I don't have an Oval Punch either. I don't keep my retired stuff. It disappears. Which reminds me, I'm working on doing a BOGO sale. Okay, I don't like those. I don't like these on here. I'm going to take them off. Put them away. Polished. And I'll find out. This needs to be something bright and happy. Like maybe a rhinestone colored in. In pink. Or we can use these and color these red. They are too pale. I agree with you. I don't want to use the red ones. I don't want to use those ones because they're not the right color. What have I got? Um... Ooh, hang on, hang on. What about a loose flower flourish or two? What do you think? Maybe not. Put them on the van, she says. Put them on the van. They won't pick up. I need my take your pick tool. What about that? What do you think? Everybody's saying on the van. On the van. Okay, I'll go get some Tombow on there. A little dab will do ya. Come on. Except that this is really not working. Where's my pin? I gotta unstick it. There we go. Hopefully that'll work now. There we go. And somewhere in here, I have my take your pick end. Somewhere. Come on. There it is. Oops. Well, that's interesting. Huh. The whole thing came out. Come on. Get out of there. Hmm. Well. Isn't that interesting? Nope. Goes on the other end. Of course I had to pick a pick one that I haven't used before. Okay, well. That's not gonna work. Because 
for some reason it's not pushing the these are so old because I don't use them let's try the other one I have three of them There we go. Just going to use my pokey tool. Flower power! Isn't that adorable? Okay, I didn't get enough glue on them. Little dab here. There we go. <laughs> That's cute. Flower power to everyone. Alrighty. Well, there we go. We have two completed cards. Now, don't go away because I have to do the draw. I've got the draw all set up from Share It Saturday on the 29th of January. So I'm just trying to clean this up a bit so I can get to my computer. Because it's a mess. Where's the other card? There's the three cards we made. One, two, three. There we are. All right, found my computer. <laughs> you have my address. Oh, I might have your address, Valerie, do you think? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take you down. I'm going to point you at the computer. Now you can see me watching you watching me. Go over to Wheel of Names. And these are all the people that put a comment and entered their card in January the 29th. Share it Saturday. So there's the, there's the heading up there. So we'll just delete that. And... We will let her rip. So somebody is going to win a card. And maybe this one that I just made. You never know what will be in the mail. There we go. And the winner is Janet. Woohoo, Janet. Way to go. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. So let me just flip this around. I might as well say hi. Hi. Bad hair day. I went for a walk and had a toque on. And it's never a good thing when I wear a toque. So, Janet, I will have this ready for you. Um, now, you still have, if you hadn't picked it up today, you still have the goodies that you won at our team thing on the 29th of January. They're outside. Have you picked those up yet? Because I can just put it out there. Put your card and your goodies I don't know what they'll be, but we'll find out when you open your card, I guess. Just give me a comment if you haven't picked those up. But one way or the other, I'll get them to you. 
And don't forget, there is one going on every week. It goes on. Even when I'm in Tofino, it's going to be happening. I won't be doing drawing while I'm out there, but um, the the share it Saturday. I've got it. I've got those all scheduled right up to April. Oh, okay, I'll just pop it outside in the in the box with those goodies then for you. And that's it. That's all I have for you. I didn't receive any cards today. Didn't receive any new product today. I'm going to get my newsletter ready for next week. The, tomorrow, the weekly update will include information on the March classes. So the stamp -a stack and subscription tutorial is all based around based around flowering fields suite. So I used both, both stamp sets. So there's, I used the tulip one and I used the tulip field one to create the cards for March's stamp -a stack It was a very nice evening, Rosemary. Thank you. Alrighty, so thanks so much ladies for hanging out with me. I will be back on Friday. We will hang out and do something else. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Stamp and smiles and bye for now.